Heat, heat, heat. Yeah, and not a lot of rain at all. Our radar are completely quiet right now. So today and tomorrow both look like especially hot days. Highs around 97, feeling like up to 115. Certainly find ways to stay cool and drink lots of water today. Get in the AC or shade if you have to be outside. Uh, hot weather is expected for the next couple days, and then the heat subsides later in the week with more rain. But you can see the extreme heat warning and the heat advisories up to 114 for the heat index in the pink and 112 or so in the orange. We're already looking at that high humidity, bringing our air temperatures, which are right now you can see in the 90s, all the way into the triple digits. So just a really hot kind of setup for this afternoon and not a lot of cooling kind of effect from any showers or storms because of a big high pressure system over us. I'll show you in a second, but yeah, 97 the high. Today's record is 98, so we'll be close to that. And tomorrow's record is 99, and I think we'll be close to that once again. About 97 I have for both days. Our heat index clearly into the triple digits, as I was mentioning earlier, until maybe sunset and then into the 90s for that feels like forecast because when you sweat in this kind of humidity, uh, it's hard for that sweat to cool you down. It doesn't evaporate and cool you off with that evaporative cooling effect because there's already so much moisture in the atmosphere. So that's why we talk about the heat index here in South Louisiana. Tonight, our low temperatures may actually get stuck around 80 for a lot of spots, maybe some upper 70s. And it's due to this big high pressure ridge. This is almost always the culprit this summer when we have a lot of extreme or more than normal kind of heat. Now it will nudge to the west tomorrow. So that means tomorrow on your Tuesday, we might have a better chance late in the day, especially for some showers and storms to get going. However, this is also bringing in these north winds. And as I was mentioning, it kind of dries out the atmosphere slightly when we get these north winds. Not enough to make it feel nice and dry at the surface, but enough to allow that air which is drier to heat up more efficiently. As we move into the end of the week, though, we start to see the highs shift a bit. The one over us right now off to the west, another one building to our east. And between, we will be in this area of weakness with that next surge of moisture along the Gulf Coast into the second part of this coming week. So that will bring the rain back. And we could have a couple of heavy downpours here and there, just like we've seen most days this summer, thankfully. So this hot stretch is not going to last super long, but just a couple more days with the more intense than normal kind of heat. You saw today and tonight, not much rain around. Tuesday, though, I wanted to point out 2 p.m. There is at least some hope to get some rain. This is by 5 p.m. Some scattered rain here and there. And even at 8 p.m. at sunset, we might still have a shower or two around. And now moving into Wednesday, here we go. That's what we like to see for a lot of us, at least some scattered rain, bringing that temperature down. So our Wednesday through the end of the week, high temperatures will be back to close to normal, which is 92. Still hot, but not at 97. Thankfully in the tropics, no uh, development is expected for the next week plus. Interesting to see the lull on the Atlantic side compared to the activity on the Pacific side with just a whole lineup of tropical depressions, invests, and another spot that might soon be a depression or even a tropical storm. The next names on the Eastern Pacific list are Gil, Henriette, and Evo, so we'll be watching for that. But this often happens, activity on one side uh, corresponds to less activity on the other side. So we'll take it for now. Also something interesting, we do have two meteor showers that are set to peak later this week on Wednesday morning, early in the morning hours. It's the Southern Delta Aquarids and the Alpha Capricornids, both happening at the end of July. Each of these could bring about a dozen or more meteors per hour, so it's possible you could see some. Best visibility, of course, is away from city lights. The thing about Wednesday morning, though, is the official peak. We may have clouds around with that rain chance increasing on Wednesday, but actually, as you know, I'm sure the several days, two or three days on either side, so tomorrow morning and then Thursday morning and so forth, you can also see meteors usually with these meteor showers, although the official peak is on Wednesday morning. So good luck to you if you do want to try to see a few meteors. Seven day forecast shows that temperature coming back to about average with that pretty decent chance for the scattered rain Wednesday and all the way into Saturday, maybe a slightly lower chance by Sunday.